Presidential status assumes importance because the charge of income tax under Indian tax laws is very much dependent on the residential status of the person. As per Income Tax Act, the different categories of residential status are first uh, resident and this category can be further broken down into two subcategories. First would be a resident but not ordinarily resident that is R and O R in short and second uh, resident and uh, ordinarily resident for in short R O R. This calculator would help you in determining the residential status of a person in under Indian tax laws. The residential status is primarily dependent on the period of stay of a person in India. In this calculator to know your residential status in a given year, you are required to input the period of stay in days and respond to some basic questions and your res residential status would be displayed immediately. Let's see. First you have to uh, give the assessment year for which you would uh, like to know your residential status say 2015-16 you can put it here and number of days for which you were in uh, India during the financial year related to that uh, assessment year let's make it 181 and uh, now uh, you have to respond to the question have you been in India during last four preceding financial years let's make it a no if you select a no here and then you need not fill uh, um, the figures in the uh, rest of the uh, four rows because it, uh, it is not applicable and uh, here you can see your status is non-resident let's make it 181 keep it 181 and let's select yes if you select yes then you need to give your give your stay in during the last four preceding preceding years let now let's say 100 100 100 and make it 500 now you can see your status though you have stayed in india during the relevant financial year for less than 182 days uh, your status becomes resident based on the period of his stay during the last four preceding financial years. Now, let's move to the next question. Are you an Indian citizen who left India as a crew of merchant ship for employment? And the next, are you Indian citizen or Indian origin who visited India? Let's make it a yes. Here you can see the status changes to non-resident based on your selection. Please remember that you have to answer both the questions here. These are not uh, optional. And uh, here a quick cal calculator has been given for calculating the uh, number of days between two days uh, if you, in case you need it. Uh, for example, let's make it uh, 31st December 2014 and you can see numbers are calculated here. Now after you have calculated your residential status, you need to know whether you are ordinarily resident or you are not ordinarily resident. Here you need to uh, respond to two questions. First is how many years have you been non-resident out of 10 preceding, preceding years? And the second question is for how, for how many days have you been in India during last 7 preceding years? Uh, let's make it a 9 and make it 500 or 600. Here you can see your status is RNOR that is a resident but not ordinarily resident and if you keep make it 8 or make it 10 then your status changes to resident but not ordinarily resident so it's very simple you just have to reply to some basic questions and input some basic data and your residential status will be displayed Thank you.